Hello there. Thanks for taking the time to click on this video. And if you clicked on this video, you're asking yourself, how do I stay warm while fly fishing the winter months? I did a video a little while ago. I'll leave a card up here, but I thought, you know, it's probably good to revisit this again because one of the things that slows us down, right, and makes us leave early is getting cold. And I have got the key components to staying warm. And be sure to stick to the end of the video because I've got the secret weapon I'll share with you on staying warm. So first, let's talk about your feet, right? You wanna make sure that your feet stay warm while fly fishing. I, before I figured this out, right, I had left early before while fishing because my feet just feels like blocks of ice, right? It's, it's not good when your feet get cold. So there's a way to keep things warm. First and foremost, you wanna make sure that you don't squash your feet. And what I mean by that is if you put too many layers in a tight neoprene boot, you are gonna lose circulation. So it's important to keep circulation going while having a lot of layers insulating your foot. So the first thing I put on is a liner. You wanna have a good hiking liner. And from there, it is a smart wool or wool sock. You've heard that saying, right? Cotton kills. You wanna stay away from any type of cotton product when it comes to trying to keep you warm. As soon as that gets wet, it's game over, right? So stick to synthetics and wool products. They just do better, fleece, that type of thing. Next is your legs. Now I've got this thing figured out. So I have a base layer. It's like a fleece type of undergarment or thermal underwear. From there, I put on a full fleece pant I mean, from top to bottom, almost like sweatpants. Next layer is a pair of hiking pants and that just creates a nice shell around my legs. So when I'm in my waders, even breathable waders, right? I don't like wearing neoprene waders because they just, they're hard to move in, right? They're super bulky. I just layer up below my breathable drift waders and I stay completely warm. Now let's go to the top, right? The top half, same thing. I have a nice fleece thermal underwear. I then have a synthetic, almost like a zip neck, V, v neck type of, uh, type of shirt as my second layer. And now I'm putting on a fleece coat. And sometimes I'll either have like a, like a synthetic down filled jacket like this that I have on now. This one's from Marmot. I do have another one from Patagonia, but I'll have at least four layers on top. Now the secret weapon, right? The secret weapon we're going to talk about at the end of the video. Now, next you want to have something on your head. I really do enjoy wearing these fleece beanies. Even though this is relatively thin, it's not a super thick fleece beanie. This keeps my noggin warm. It's fleece, so it's not gonna, even when it gets wet, right? It still stays warm. So it doesn't hold a lot of water and get heavy and cold. So I really do enjoy these fleece beanies. And I do have a heavier fleece beanie that I wore recently in Pyramid Lake as it was ridiculously windy. But this fleece beanie that I have on here, really does the trick. Now for your hands, right? It's important to keep your hands warm. Now I did recently go to Pyramid Lake and it was 19 degrees and windy and I had a full ski glove on and that was not easy to fish with. And I ended up taking it off and putting on my wool fingerless gloves that has a fleece liner inside. And even though the tips of your fingers can get cold, the majority of your hand stays warm, which allows you to keep on fishing. So. I prefer that. I just I have to be able to feel the line and everything else when it comes to fly fishing. So my hands get a little cold, but they're still they still work, right? So when I use a fingerless type of glove, there are gloves out there that have kind of a, a flap that can go over your fingers, and I do have a pair of those from Sims as well. That during the non-fishing times, you can put that over to warm your hands. Now the cool thing about my waders, my new drift waders, they got a lot of pockets. And they've got hand warmer pockets. And I had a couple of electronic hand warmers that I put in there. And these things are, are great hand warmers, by the way. And not only did it kind of keep my core area warm, but all I have to do is stick my hands in my pocket for maybe a few minutes and my fingers started to warm back up again. So these hand warmers will last, gosh, almost seven hours, right, of use. So they're, they're super great when it comes to keeping your hands warm and having a place while you're fishing to stick your hands in there to warm them back up because that's always tough when you're out there in the elements if you don't have somewhere to go inside to warm up at least you have a little pocket that's staying warm all right the secret the secret to staying warm really is this new heated vest that i have and i have it 
somewhere in between one of the layers. I try to get it close to my skin, but it's got it's got a heater around the neck, in the pockets, in the back, in the stomach. This, and I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's like Ororor, O-R-O-R-O, I think it is. I'll leave a link down in the description for you. But this particular vest is awesome. Wore it at Pyramid Lake, and I stayed warm. Even though it was frigid, freaking cold, I stayed warm. You can also get a neck gaiter. I do have, I, again, you know, for my beard and stuff, I don't like wearing neck gaiters because it just... It feels too constrictive, but I do have a fleece neck heater when it gets super, super cold. But that heated vest really has been a game changer for me when it comes to lasting out in the cold. All right, so I hope these tips help you stay warmer next time you're out there fishing in weather like this. It's pretty, but it's cold. All right, everybody, till the next time, fish on.